The most exciting about our world today, which is characterized by chaos and rapid change and complexity and the new global interconnectivity that comes from our technology, is that it puts us at the edge of chaos, which is a scientific term for being in the place where a system is at its most unstable, therefore scary, but also at its most creative. Um, when a system is very ordered, change is difficult because it takes a lot of momentum to bring about the change. And when a system is totally chaotic, we can't handle it. But at the edge of chaos, which is where I think our societies are today and where business is today, um, it's the maximum best place to be to make the kind of big changes in the system and the way we operate in business that we could be. I use quantum in a new way myself because my work is about saying that quantum physics as a science lays the foundation for a new way to think about everything. And my work is about extracting the philosophy and principles out of the quantum paradigm that could help us do business in a different way or live our personal lives in a more creative, positive way. Um, quantum physics, per se, as a science, has nothing to say about management. It's about the behavior, originally, of tiny particles within the atom. And it was thought it only applied to the micro world within the atom, where the laws, the behavior, is different. Today, scientists recognize that we all live, all the time, in a totally quantum world. The reason that quantum bears on business is because for the last 350 years, any management thinking, as it is developed, has modeled itself on Newton's physics, which was conceived in the 17th century. People looked at Newton's physics and said, this is such a clear model of how things operate and behave. We can copy it in business. Now, the Newtonian model of the company, the organization, was a machine. So our organizations were designed purposefully by the thinkers in management to function like good machines, to be efficient, well-oiled, uh, to have a control from the top, uh, to think that all the moving parts in the machine are controlled from the top, that the organization has predictable laws which take the form of rules in the organization. So I'm not doing anything new to say that physics is relevant to business. What I am saying is the old physics is not relevant to the climate in which business must operate today, and that now quantum physics gives us a better model. Quantum physics writ large is about uncertainty, unpredictability, um, an inability to control the system from without, but rather to take advantage of the self-organization of the system. And you don't control a quantum system. If you do so, you dampen down its creativity. So quantum strategy is not think, we'll do this, and this is how we'll do it. It's thinking we might do this, we might do that, we might do the other, i.e. you develop a scenario of possible strategies. The most likely one may be the one that happens, but you're ready if the most unlikely one or even someone you haven't considered happens. The role of the leader in quantum companies or quantum societies for that matter, any kind of organization of human beings, is to set the values, have the vision for what the system is aspiring to or the company is aspiring to, uh, to motivate the people, to inspire them, uh, and especially to be active in creating a culture in which this kind of self-organization thrives. Everybody. A quantum leader 
indeed I think all of us in our lives are servants, we're servants of the unfolding reality. Quantum physics tells us that even in the universe, conscious systems are co-creators of what reality unfolds. The whole quantum dimension of reality is a world of potentiality and possibility. It is conscious creatures and relationships that form that make those possibilities realities. So which possibilities in the quantum sea, as it were, become waves that affect things is up to us. The questions that we ask, the decisions that we make. So all of us in the quantum world must learn to reflect more, ask better questions, and um, learn to think about what we're doing.